Hey guys, and welcome to part two of the five-part series. Um, today we are going to be showing you how to use XN Convert to uh, modify your ortho uh, imagery to give it a little bit more realistic look to it. Now, I'm just going to say right off the bat, this is not going to fix uh, the color uh, mismatch in ortho tiles, um, but certain areas that are, you know, brighter or whatnot, it will actually blend them a little bit better because you're darkening the JPEGs a little bit. And uh, you'll see what I'm saying here um, as we go through this. So the first thing we're going to go over here is uh, we're going to show you uh, what you have to do in ortho um, when you download a tile uh, before you do anything else. So let's bring up ortho here. Now I already downloaded this tile uh, just to make it quicker for the video, but uh, we'll go over the settings here. So all these settings you can see in the first video, uh, part one, towards the end there. These are all the settings that we did. Now before you download the tile, um, any of the tiles that you're doing, or if you had saved your ortho imagery, um, you can also do it that way too. But what we're going to want to do, before you download a tile, we're going to come down here to skip converts, and we're going to set this to true. Now what this is going to do <clears throat> is it's um, it'll download the JPEG imagery, but it will not convert it to the DDS files. So this will just give us the JPEGs, but it won't convert it into the um, ortho tile imagery that it usually does. So we're going to set this to true. We're going to hit right up, apply, exit. Now that at this point, this is where you would download your ortho uh, tile or tiles. I do recommend if you're doing this, not more than two or three at a time because uh, once we get into XN Convert, you'll kind of see why. So let's minimize this. And now if you bring over uh, your Ortho 4XP, uh, you'll see here this is the tile that I had downloaded. So we're going to go into here, and we'll go into Textures. And you can see here this is just the masks for the water that are in here. We don't have any of the .dds files, none of the imagery files. That's because we skipped the converts. So now if we go back and we go to Ortho Photos, this is the tile I downloaded, plus 40, minus 073. And don't forget we have two things in here because we added the um, zoom level 18 within the uh, two kilometers of the airport. So in here you'll see we have the 17 JPEGs, and in here we have the 18 JPEGs. So this is where we're going to uh, basically stop with ortho, and we're going to get over to XN Convert now. And I will leave a link in the description uh, to where you can download ortho and where you can download the XN Convert program. So now when you open XN Convert, it basically brings you to this screen here. Uh, if it doesn't bring you to the screen, uh, we are working on the Output tab at the top. And this is where we're going to start. So there's a couple things we have to change in here first. The first thing you're going to want to change is we need to get rid of this underscore result in the file name because we want it to overwrite the original files. So we're just going to delete that and keep it like that. And then we're going to go over to Settings. <coughs> And on JPEG, because we're messing with JPEGs, we're going to put the quality at 100%, because that's the, um, you know, we basically want the JPEGs to be the best quality that they can be without uh, changing anything. So we'll hit OK, and that'll save that. Now if you go over to Actions, this is where we actually add um, what we want XN Convert to do to our photos. So we're going to hit Add Action. We're going to go to, uh, I'm sorry, uh, we'll go to Map and Exposure. Now we do have to change these. This is just adding the action and then we have to put the settings in here that we want. So for Exposure, I use negative 40. 
Now we're going to add another action. We're going to go to map gamma stat or gamma sat. And this is going to be on 0 0.88. So 8, 8. Then the last thing we're going to add is the color bounce. And I believe that is under, let's see. There it is, yep. So everything we're gonna be doing is under the map section. So we're gonna go to map and color bounce. So the red, green, blue, these are all just gonna be 10. So 10, 10, 10. And uh, I do wanna thank Alan from uh, the Facebook um, groups. Uh, he's the guy who has a home cockpit. He's always posting videos of him flying around. Uh, me and him chatted a little bit. He gave me these settings here and uh, I do like them and uh, what he has done. So these are the settings that I'm using in Xconvert, uh, which are Alan's settings. So these are the three things you're going to change. And, um, you know, if you need to just stop the video for a second, I'll just pause it this way. You can pause the video and you know, get these all set up in there. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we have to add our files from our uh, ortho imagery into here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the input tab and we're going to go to add files. And we're going to go to our ortho 4xp, ortho photos, and then we're going to go to the tile that we built, which was 40. 073. Now we're going to have to add both 17 and 18. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into the 17. Here's all of our uh, JPEG imagery. And what we're going to do, we're just going to do Control A to select them all. And we're going to hit Open. And that adds all the pictures here. Then we're going to go to Add Files again. And we're going to go back to our 18 zoom level photos. Do Control A, Open. So now this is going to add all the JPEGs from that tile, which is a small tile because I want this process to go pretty quick for the video. Um, you can see here uh, this tile or this JPEG and this JPEG, how it's miscolored. Um, this is what I was talking about at the beginning. If you want to fix these, uh, you need to use something like Photoshop. Um, I don't think you can do it in GIMP. I believe it has to be a program like Photoshop, uh, but you could correct these if you want to take the time before you do this uh, to get these uh, looking absolutely perfect, but I don't have that kind of time to do that, so this is just works for me. So what we're going to do here, we're going to bring up the Zoom Level 18 folder so that you could see what they actually do, and then... Um, all you do in here is you hit convert. It's going to ask you if you want to overwrite the existing files, which we do want it to do. So then you're just going to hit yes to all. And you can see here it's starting with the zoom level 18. So if you bring this folder up, you can actually see these JPEGs changing. Um, they're going from like a, a brighter green to a darker green. And uh, once you load these into the sim, they actually look really good. It does look dark here, but let's just bring like one picture up here to show you. So if we zoom in on this, um, you can see it looks pretty dark. But uh, like I said, once it's in the sim, uh, they look beautiful. And uh, this is a lot of work, um, especially if you're doing, you know, hundreds of tiles to do this to each tile. Uh, at the end of the day, I would just recommend trying this maybe in your hometown or home state or something like that, just to see how you like it before you start going and changing a whole bunch of tiles. Um, that area where we inputted the tiles, that's why I was saying you may not want to do more than two or three of these at a time because you're going to have to go in there remember which ones you downloaded and uh you know input those and you could see here i mean those little bit of jpegs we had this is going to take you know pretty much um 
I don't know how much, five, eight minutes. So a whole tile usually takes about a half hour. Um, and you're talking about 15, 1600 JPEGs it has to convert. So, and I guess that also depends on the speed of your computer too. Um, how long this would take to uh, convert these JPEGs. So you can see here it finished the zoom level 18 ones. And it is working on the zoom level 17 now. So we're going to come up on this one here. So you could see one, two, boom. So you see how much darker that got. Um, it's it's still brighter. So you could see here. This is still brighter in this section here going into that other tile we were uh, JPEG we were just looking at. But like I said, if you really wanted to correct this, you would have to download a program like uh, Photoshop. Um, so, you know, peel the the color from this side and auto correct it on this side here and cut and paste and like I said I just don't have that kind of time but if you did want to do that and then you know follow my video to do the XN convert I'm more than happy to do that and we'll be finishing up here in just a second And while this is finishing, uh, I'll just say, you know, don't don't forget to like and subscribe my channel, hit the bell so you get notifications. Um, and if you do have any suggestions or anything that you want to see, um, you know, just send me a message, leave a comment on one of my videos, and I'll be more than happy to uh, eventually get around to making a video of something that you need help with. Uh, future videos that are coming out, going to show you how to install. Um, join FS. Um, the next part in this series is going to be how to install uh, XVision and get that going with the settings and the preset that I use. So we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. All right, so that's finished now. Uh, you can see it took four minutes, so not too bad. We'll close that out because that's done. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go back to ortho. And uh, if we open the map here, for 4073, 40. Oh, okay. So that's the one that we did there. So what we're going to do is we have to go back into our settings and we have to change skip converts back to false. So to download the JPEG imagery without it converting to the DDS files, you have to set this to true. Once you do that and you do your XN convert converting to pictures, you set this back to false. So it will create the DDS files. We have to hit right app, apply, exit, and go back to the map. We're going to select this, shift click. And then what I do here is uh, even though you already saw at the beginning of the video it drew the water masks, I do like to build them again. Um, I did run into a problem once where I didn't draw the water mask and something happened um, after doing the XN convert and I'm not sure if it was because I didn't but I just do it this way from now on. Uh, we don't need the data again, we don't need to triangulate the mesh, so what I do is draw water masks, build imagery, and extract the overlays. Once again, I already extracted the overlays in the beginning, but I do it again, and it's not going to hurt anything. It just basically, if the file's there, it'll just either overwrite it or just tell you it's there already. And uh, what we're going to do is just hit Batch Build, and you'll see here, once it creates the, um, the water masks, it's going to start... Uh, downloading and or it already downloaded but it'll tell you that the JPEGs are already present and then it's going to start converting them over to the DDS files that it, uh, ortho needs kind of uh, timed it one day for you guys. It basically takes double the amount of time to build a tile uh, if you use these 
uh, you know, these steps here using XN convert uh, for the imagery. Um, but like I said, if you want to try this on a tile or try it on your state or your, you know, tiles around your hometown just to see how you like it, this way you're not doing a whole bunch of tiles. And you can see here, you know, all the JPEGs are already present and all it's doing is uh, it's not downloading anything new. It's just um, converting the ortho photos to the .dds's now. And once this is finished, I'm just going to show you uh, in that tile folder now that the imagery is there and the textures. But you would, uh, from this point, install your tile however you prefer doing it. If you followed my uh, video on installing Ortho, um, you know, you would just create the shortcut and then drag that over to your custom scenery folder uh, if you do it that way like I do. But it's nothing... Uh, you know, once you finish this step, anything else you're doing in Ortho, as long as far as um, you know, shift clicking to link it into your custom scenery, or like I said, if you right click and create shortcuts because it's on another drive, all that stays the same. Nothing changes there. And this is almost finished here, so what I'm just going to do, uh, just to take a little bit of time off, yep, there it goes, extracting the overlay, and it is done. So now if we go into Ortho4XP, and we go into the uh, tile here again, we're going to go to textures, and you can see now we have the water masks and all the um, JPEGs that were converted to the DDS with the new uh, XN converted uh, t uh, JPEGs there. Um, so all these in here now are the ones that we converted in XN convert, not the default uh, JPEGs that were downloaded. These are the ones that, uh, let's just say, are darker than the originally downloaded ones. So, um, like, and we went over just dragging this over once that's done. And that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, it's not um, a lot of explanation to do. It's basically just the settings, which is this video was mainly for, and to show you how um, you have to use this skip converts. And don't forget to do this. Um, if you forget to do this and you leave it on false, it's going to download the JPEG imagery and the DDS files. If it does do that, I would just go into... Um, you know, if you forgot to click that to true, I would just go into your uh, tile and I would just delete um, everything here in this texture folder because you're rebuilding the water masks and everything anyway. Um, it's not going to hurt to do that. This is only if you forgot to hit true before you started downloading the tile. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. And uh, we'll see you guys in part three, which is going to be um, installing XVision and using the uh, preset that I use and the one little tweak that I add to that to make it just that much better. So that's going to be pretty exciting. All right, guys, you have yourself a good night and we'll see you then. Take care.